What's up, dude? What you got there? Well, maybe I only just did a bod video and I'm already on, on to my next one. In my defense, I've got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this mod. Whoa, it was on the list. Go and check it out. There's only a few things left on the list, so what could yeah. it possibly be? Today, I'm going to be installing a throttle lock. This is what we're doing. <laughs> That's the intro music. <laughs> this is Universal. On their website, they've got a whole heap of, um, like a whole list of bikes that they work with, which means that if I buy a new bike, which I well, I don't need to because it's amazing, but if I buy a new bike in the future, um, you can just take it off and put it on the next bike. So if you come check this out on my throttle. So they actually have two different styles. This one, it sits underneath. You can get one that's in reverse and it sits on top. So depending on what bike you have and if you've got any like leads coming out of here or any buttons there, you might need to just check which one's a good fit for your bike. So apparently for the Vulcan, you can get a top, a top kit or a bottom kit. They both work. I wanted it to be underneath because I thought it'd be really cool. This is a little bit expensive, but it feels quality, like it's heavy. It must be good quality because it's heavy, right? <laughs> you get, um, yeah, you get everything that you need for it. So literally, that's all you need. Technically, this should take like 15 minutes, if that. Um, some instructions on here. I'll put this stuff up so that you can see them a little bit better. All right, let's do this thing. First thing that you have to do is pull it out. Essentially, it just fits in here. Just roll back the rubber. Like so. So this is the locking it, or locking it. Pushes this little part here out, which pushes onto here, and it's gonna hold the throttle in place. All right, and then this button down here releases it, so it pushes back. So they give you a little rubber pad that goes on the back of there, um, and with a, about three different size, like thicknesses, and um, yeah, so you can choose which one suits your bike best. So in here, oh my god. <laughs> I need a new cameraman. <laughs> Alright, I feel like it's... <laughs> you are so annoying. They give you a little bit of an alcohol wipe thing. Just clean that down, let it dry so you can stick this rubber bit on there. Okay? Give all that a bit of a clean in there too. Press that family. For how long? 23 seconds. 23 or two to three. <laughs> so one time VS Chick um, was wanting roof racks on her car. So it went down to the dealership. I waited in the car. She gets back in the car and she's all like, um, I say, oh, how'd you go? And she's like, yeah, good. It's gonna take a while for them to turn up though. <laughs> oh, they said like 46 weeks. And I was like, 46 weeks? Hey, are you sure? Four, as in two, six weeks, not as in I'm six a freaking loser. <laughs> four, four to six weeks. Maybe he didn't articulate what he was trying to say very well. That's what I reckon. My defense could have been 46 weeks. Good story. Good story. In here, there's a hole for the bolt thing, and in here, there's another little hole. So you just feed it in like that until it slips in, and then the teeth on this side, you just push that down. So yeah, it just sits underneath there. Put it in there. Oh, that's this way. Right, so just when you put that on, just hold your finger on that part so it doesn't come out. And that essentially goes back like that. 
So yeah, then the bolt goes in here. And it has like the little, I can't remember what this is called, Loctite on there. You'll have to go for a ride and then put a clip in of you actually using it. Oh yeah, girl.
look for, that's the famous <laughs> part of the bike. <laughs> Gotta have some comedic relief. Uh huh. Mm hmm. 